But, but, uh, but I then thought to myself, are you, I usually hear the way I am described as the Oba of Benin, as uh, the Swagalicious Oba. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was, so I was so I was I was wondering I was wondering no matter how sharp and uh, smart he may be he cannot be more so galicious than me <laughs> but that is by the power of God almighty I thank Reverend Omobude and I thank all members uh, of the church. I want to distinguished chiefs that have accompanied me here today. <clears throat> members, members of the royal family. I want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for this honor. When, um, when I received the invitation to this occasion, I looked at it and God spoke to me immediately, I must be here. God Almighty, omnipotent, omniscience, omnipresence. We do Osano Dua Akbama, Oko do do Osagbaye. Said, directed. That I must be here with everybody today. And then I said, uh, when I heard the, the, the voice of God Almighty, I said, uh, I have to listen to the, God, to the word of God. <laughs> On my way here, I asked uh, the secretary to BTC, Frank, <laughs> said, uh, what am I supposed to do today? Because this will be the, I think, the very first time. <laughs> it will be the very first time that uh, I will be attending the Pentecostal Church of God Almighty. Since uh, ascension to the throne, which God Almighty has graciously put me. It, I've always known it, uh, it is not by my power, it's not by the power of man. It's by the power of God Almighty that has led me from birth to the throne. As everybody else, you may not know it, we all have our challenges here and there. But I can assure you that with faith in God Almighty, you will overcome all those challenges. You must overcome all those challenges because God Almighty is on your side. He's, he's in front of you. He's behind you. He's on your side. He sleeps with you when you are sleeping. When you are waking, he's with you. When you are traveling in the air, on the high seas, on the land, God Almighty is with you. If you believe in him, 
must believe in him. We have always believed in God Almighty in Benin Kingdom. So um, I want to thank Reverend Omobude for inviting me here today. They have always come to the palace to pray every year, unfailingly. I would uh, want to thank Reverend Mobude, this church, and all the other Pentecostal churches, other churches that have come every year to pray for us in the palace. So today, today is the day of this church that my ancestors have ordained, God Almighty have ordained that I should be here to celebrate with you. But when I came in here and I looked at Reverend Omobude as always, how sharp he is, how sharp he dresses, how sharp he, how, how sharp he dresses and looks. I know it's, the, it's, the, it's God Almighty that is glowing around. <laughs> but, but, uh, but I then thought to myself, I, I usually hear the way I am described as the Oba of Benin, as uh, the swagalicious of <laughs> <laughs> so, I was, so I was so I was I was wondering I was wondering no matter how sharp and uh, smart he may be he cannot be more swagalicious than me <laughs> but that is by the power of God almighty I thank Reverend Omobude and I thank all members uh, of the church. I want to thank Reverend Omobude for the encomiums. I want to thank Reverend Omobude for the recognition of our work which we have been doing. I want to thank everybody, thank the international community that have that have come to the palace several times from different embassies on behalf of different governments. Uh, British government, American government, United States, Germany, and, and so on and so forth. The, the rec most recent one was from Denmark, the ambassador of Denmark, who came and poured a lot of encomiums on us. To me, we thought we were simply doing our duty, not realizing that we are perhaps... Uh, we have gone miles beyond the call of duty as far as they are concerned, but it's still work in progress. Amen. By the power of God, it's still work in progress. Let me, quickly, let me quickly say this. The last time I stood before a congregation, not as big as this, was when I was, in, when I was ambassador in Rome Part of their tradition there is any new ambassador will be invited during October 1st celebration to come and talk to the Catholic, uh, Catholic diocese, Nigerians that are there, the Nigerian Catholics that are there, to address them, to talk to them. So I was invited the usual way. So I said, oh my God. I should come and address, I should address the, uh, the Catholic uh, uh, congregation. <laughs> what, am I, what am I going to say to this, uh, to this uh, congregation? So it took my mind to the Bible, to that part of the Bible where Moses went to Mount Sinai. Was it Mount Sinai? <laughs> went, went to Mount Sinai when he was asked to go and free his people in uh, Egypt. And he said, God, 
What am I going to say when I get there? That Pharaoh is hard. It's difficult. It's hard. His heart is hard. I'm scared. What am I going to say to him? Will he listen? Will he accept what I'm going to say to him? My mind was taken to Mount Sinai. Not by myself, but again, by the Spirit of God. And uh, I now remembered that God told Moses, you should go. Whatever you are going to do, say, there, you will put it in your, put it in your mouth. Whatever you are going to do, you put it in your hand. Oh, everything should be okay. Just go. Do what I say. So I said, uh, I, called, uh, I called my secretary. Please uh, go and get me a bigger version of the Bible. <laughs> let, me, let me study it study some other aspects of it before I can talk to this congregation. Because I'm here as an ambassador, not a reverend father or a pastor or anything like that. You know, but I must speak in their language, even if uh, one has to speak in tongues. And then uh, she got me this Bible. I browsed through some aspects that I remembered. Maybe maybe surprising to you that we remember some aspects of the Bible. We do. But I won't tell you how. That's my secret. <laughs> secret. And so I got there. Here we were following. I was also, every, every time I said anything, I would look behind me to the elders of the, of the, of the Catholic uh, church there. I hope I'm saying the correct thing. I hope I'm saying the right thing. One of the things, one of the things that I, I, won't say, I don't know if to say preached about, but at least spoke about, was the issue of prostitution, Nigerians, women prostituting in Italy. The problem of prostitutes in Italy. Just like... Uh, our good reverend mentioned a while ago, you know, our fight against human trafficking, illegal migration, uh, this con continuous forced exodus of our young girls to, uh, to Europe, to Italy, and other European countries to prostitute and bring back money to their parents and so on and so forth. We have been concerned about it since then. Because as I sat on my desk as ambassador, I know all the details of the, the, uh, the, the information that passed through my desk of many of such young women that were arrested, that were repatriated, and so on and so forth. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. So I... I now recognize the work of the Catholic Church, the work of the Catholic Church in rehabilitating many of those prostitutes that decide to stay out of, out of, out of the street, off the street, stay out of the profession. They had a committee, they had a body within the Catholic Church that would do everything possible to rehabilitate them. So, when uh, Reverend Mobude was speaking a while ago, my mind went through all that, and uh, some of the things he said gave me the impression that you must have a, a similar body in this church that would fight against human trafficking, that would rehabilitate those that were in the trade, that wish to leave the trade, that wish to leave the trade without without uh, stigmatizing them, without stigmatizing them. Because as I said to the Catholics in Rome, I told them, if, if, what, if, I, if I'm making any, any, any mistake in what I'm saying, they should please forgive me, because after all, we are in the house of forgiveness. <laughs> so I say the same thing here now. So if there's anything that I may say that is out of line, the same thing should please apply. But my prayer is that the church should do its best to rehabilitate those.
that wish to not go to Italy, that not go to um, European countries for greener pastures, make this place attractive to them, create jobs, create um, skills, skills acquisition, and so on and so forth. The church has a big role to play in that, uh, in that regard. So I, I, thank, uh, I want to thank Reverend Mobudi again for, for the recognition in the work we did in stamping out CDA, CDA which uh, CDA which we supposed to stand for Community Development Association became Community Destructive Association. It was the very next month after my coronation that I came out and grabbed the bull by the horn and said, well, if nobody will do it, it falls on, it falls on us. By the grace of God, by the power of God Almighty, to do it, make peace, to reign in this land. And so, it was, uh, it was not planned. Iya said is there. It was Iya said that I even, um, I wanted to, uh, I, want, I had mandated Iya said on that occasion to speak. Then again, I, <laughs> I hear the voice of God and my ancestors directing me to go do it. Not he as I should do it. I should go speak to the people myself. And when I came out and I spoke, lo and behold, and I, th I thank God Almighty, I thank my great ancestors, and I thank the people of Benin, I thank Edo people for responding positively to that call. I thank you very much. Please, you must continue to uphold these tenets, these good principles to ensure that our, our kingdom, our land is seen again. It's already been seen as a as good place to come to, as a, as a tourist destination. It's a good tourist destination now. We want to do more. It's still work in progress. We should not fold our arms or rest on our oars and, and lay back. There is still a whole lot more work we have to do. A whole lot more work to make sure politicians as well do not destroy our land. <laughs> we do not want... We, don't, we, we, we have labored... Our ancestors have labored... There's a, you know, there, to get to get a dual state to where we are. Uh, there is this uh, part of the national anthem: uh, "Labors of a hero's past shall not be in vain." You know, we have had the, the we, are, we we know the students of history that are here. We remember what Anthony Nauro did. Uh, and to now already, our, our, our great grandfather, Omonobai of Orame, you made sacrifices, made sacrifices. Our, 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 our great, our grandfather, Omona Kenzoa, made more sacrifices. And uh, so did my father. So did my father and many other good politicians that means like to get a dose state to where we are. Uh, we, are in the, we are in the church, so I'm not going to talk politics. I'm not a politician, but mine is to say we are praying and the church should pray, should pray hard. Even if we have to fast when we enter the new year, we will all fast. We will all fast. We will all fast and pray to God to please bring peace to these politicians that are tearing themselves apart. I have never seen such a thing before. I'm sure many of you 
<laughs> you feel the same way. But no, 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 no worry. I'm sure that uh, God Almighty is not sleeping. As uh, what is doing, knows what he's doing. He will bring peace to the land again, and we shall all rejoice. We shall all come here and thank God Almighty. So I uh, thank you very much. I wish you all. I wish you all well. Papa, talk to him. Come on, go ahead and give his just in the biggest hand. Thank you. Thank you. Oba Tope. Thank you, Your Majesty. We truly appreciate your words of wisdom. We have taken note of the issues that Your Majesty has raised. We believe that a dual state will remain peaceful in the name of Jesus. Those who want to build their house and with their own hands destroy it is their own problem. A dual state will remain peaceful. Your Majesty, I know you have a lot of Bibles in the palace. But to mark this visit, and maybe one day you also leave orders and read the one that I signed. So, it's my privilege to present this to Your Majesty. Frank, can you take it from me? Okay. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. Go. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Distinguished Reverend Omobu Day, I'm, I'm, I'm told that the Thanksgiving commences now. Yes. Uh, well, in the name of God Almighty, I have the honor and privilege to, to make a contribution of one million naira. Uh, Covenant people stand up now. I, um, Your Majesty, thank you. Yes, right. I've also instructed that I understand this uh, Thanksgiving service at the end of every year. Yes. Sir. I was also instructed that we will make a contribution in the Thanksgiving service, even if I'm not physically here. So we'll continue to make our contribution. Wow. Thank you very much. Oba Tokwe! Church, Oba Tokwe! grateful your majesty we thank you you will live long in robust health your dreams for a door I mean, beneath kingdom you will see them realized in Jesus mighty name <laughs> 